Hey everyone, in this week's tutorial I'm going to be going over some LDD basics as well as explaining all of the various tools you need to make your own LDD robot. Okay, so here we are. I have Lego Digital Designer open. If you haven't downloaded it already, I highly suggest it. It's a free download and it's necessary to be proficient on some level with lego digital designer in order to use the vrt if you wish to import models now they have plenty of sample robots in there already so it's not necessary for the software per se but if you want to import your own models and use your own robots you're going to need to learn how to use ldd so what we're going to do is come over here to free build and this will give us a nice blank canvas and LDD is really simple and really intuitive. It's just drag and drop. You're going to have all of the elements that you need to build pretty much any conceivable Lego element that you can find. So you just click an element and drag it out and they fit together just like normal Lego elements. So just like that. And eventually you'll keep doing that over and over again until you've built yourself an entire robot. Now there are some things that would be helpful to know with LDD. The first thing is um, and this is something that I personally do when I first open up LDD is if you go up in here to view scroll down to new themes you can choose between three different themes as they're called and I'll always select the Lego Mindstorms theme and what this does the reason why this is important is it restricts the pieces in the parts library to only the pieces that you'd find in a Mindstorm set so either the NXT set NXT 2.0 the EV3 retail set or the EV3 education set and this isn't really necessary but I personally do it because it saves time with finding pieces because now instead of having literally every Lego piece ever invented you're restricted to using just the ones in the, the parts kit which are the ones that I typically use and like I said it'll make finding the element you need a lot faster so you're sifting through a lot less Lego pieces to find what you need the other theme is LDD Extended, which is every every LEGO piece ever, plus a little bit. And what I mean by that is, you see all of these LEGO pieces are a different color. Um, I mean, sorry, the same color. That's because you can take out a LEGO piece and change it to any color that you like using the paint tool. And of course, I'll go over the paint tool, but like I said, any color. And that's why it's called LDD Extended, because you get every single LEGO piece, but you can get them in colors that weren't um, ever invented. Now if we go back to Mindstorms for a minute I'll show you some of the other tools and I'll even open up um, one of my um, my own models here so I can show you. So if we go home I'm not going to save these changes. Alright so let's open up Sirius for a minute so I can show you some cool tricks. Now with this one I'm going to go back into Lego Mindstorms and um, like I said, simple drag and drop programming. In here you have different selection tools. So you can select one piece at a time by default. However, you can choose various selection tools such as multiple selection tool or connected selection tool to make your life a little easier. Now multiple selection tool allows you to click on various pieces. So I'm going to click on this color sensor, this beam frame, this peg, this dog ear assembly. I can click on a bunch of pieces and then when I'm finished clicking on all of the pieces that I'd like to move you hold it down and you can move all of these pieces as a unit just like this just as if they were all connected invisibly and that's really cool because if you wanted to uh, separately assemble a piece of the robot and then put it on later that's what that makes it easy for and of course you can undo any mistakes that you uh, have made using control Z the connected selection tool will automatically select any and all pieces that are connected to the element that you've selected. So in this case, Sirius is 190 bricks, each of, which, each of which are all connected to each other. So I can choose any element on this robot and it will select all of them. However, if you have a few elements floating in space, like I said before, if you're building a separate piece of the robot and you want to add it back on, you use the connected selection tool to select all of it and then put it on all at once and it will move as a unit. So as you see, Sirius right now is moving as a unit because I selected all of the pieces connected simultaneously. There are also color selection tools, uh, shape selection tools, color and shape selection tools, which are all pretty self-explanatory, and I honestly don't believe I've ever had to use those in the past. 
um, but they're there if you need them. There's also the clone tool, which is really nice. So let's say you select a bunch of pieces. If you click clone, it does exactly what you think it does. It makes an exact replica of whatever was selected. So you can clone individual elements to uh, save time from going back into this parts library all the time. Or you can co um, clone components by using the multiple selection tool or the uh, connected selection tool. And as you see just here, I selected all of the parts in Sirius. And now I have two identical clones of the robot. Now, if we go back, I can select all of these pieces, and I can use the delete tool to delete any elements that I've selected. So in this case, I have the entire robot selected. If I hit delete, the entire robot goes away. Or I can select individual elements and just delete that, like that. So next we have the paint tool, which is fairly self-explanatory. I demonstrated before. And um, you'll have a lot more freedom with this in LDD Extended because, like I said, you can get any color you want. But this just lets you um, select a different color for the element that you've chosen. So if I click on, say, uh, this element right here, it gives me all of the different colors that have been available in various Mindstorm sets. So different shades of gray and red. And um, like I said, you're less restricted in LDD Extended because you can get any color you want. Flex tool would be useful if you have something like a flex hose, like um, flexible pieces, like a lot of times they're found in the Hero Factory kits. So I'll take out a flex rod right here to demonstrate that. I always found this a bit challenging to operate, but um, it's, it's definitely very useful. So I'm going to attach this to my robot and then attempt to flex it. See, after you've anchored it at one point, you're able to use the flex tool and it will follow your mouse wherever it goes and bend to that angle. And then finally there's the hinge tool and the hinge align tool which are useful for hinged pieces. Um, this might not come up too often in Mindstorms but let's say you're, you're building two separate pieces that you want to operate on a hinge. Um, you can build them separately and then use the hinge align tool to put them together you'd select one end of the hinge and another end and um, you'd be able to then join the two more easily automatically with the help of the computer oh and of course there's the hide tool which just makes certain elements invisible so you could see the interior of the robot so that's the basics of how to use LDD next week I'll be covering how to get a bill of materials from LEGO Digital Designer as well as make printable building instructions Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.